Hi guys, it's your girl here, the College Beauty, coming to you with my March favorites because it's in the end of the month and I'm really excited to show you guys what I've just been loving and into this month. Um, most of it is beauty products and a few hair products, not really in fashion or anything like that yet because I feel like that can be a separate video. So let's just get right into it. So for hair products, I've kept it pretty basic and I've been really loving the new L'Oreal Total Repair 5. Um, shampoo and conditioner. I feel like these really clean my hair while also maintaining its moisture and my hair does not feel like oily or too dry when I'm when it's completely dry and that's really nice since it's getting hotter out. I do not want my skin to <clears throat> appear like a little grease monkey. So yeah, moving on. Um, my favorite scent of the month has been <laughs> Viva La Juicy and the original Juicy Couture. I know it's so cliche, but I really love these scents this month. Um, I got them when they first came out, and I played them out, and then I kind of set them aside in my perfume rack, but now I'm going back to them, and I wear them every single day, 20 times a day. I just, I just love it, and it's a perfume that I always get compliments on, so I love the original and also Viva La Juicy, so yeah. Moving on to nail products, I have it on my nails right now. It just reminds me of spring, sunshine, joy, happiness, everything. Um, it's the China Glaze uh, Sun Worshipper, and it's so bright and beautiful and yellow, and it's just like, who couldn't love it? My second favorite um, for this month has been the Aura Lee. It's a really, really hot neon pink. You probably can't tell from the from on camera but it's super duper hot pink it kind of looks like this actually it does look like this um, it's in the color passion fruit Ooh, it's just so beautiful okay so yeah that's it for my nail products moving on to lipsticks I've only really been into two products this month even though I've bought a lot of lipsticks in the last few weeks but two of them have really stuck out to me and the first one is one um, from the flower brand. I bought a few of these, but this has been the one that seems to really hit me the hardest. This is not hit me the hardest. Have the greatest impact on me? I don't know. So this is in the color LS10. I really wish these had like nicer colors, but they don't. It's a really frosty nude mauve type thingy my bob. And we're gonna have sweet may to like but anyways, this is what it looks like. It's a frosty finish. It's pink and yeah. My second favorite has been the Kate Collection number 14. It's also a nude, but this um, one is definitely more matte, so I wear it every day. And it's just really beautiful. I don't know, the light is really effing it up. But there we go. So you can tell the difference between the finishes of the two colors. Yeah, Kate Collection is definitely my favorite. And since I just look really ugly with nude colors on for some reason, I always have to put a lip liner. And my favorite lip liner of the month is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the color 10. And it's just this really dark brown. Let's put it next to that. Yeah, it's just this really dark brown. And it defines my lips so I don't look so washed out when I'm wearing my nude colors. Um, these have been my favorite. I think out of all these items, this is my favorite. The L'Oreal Color Rich uh, lip glosses. They're just like these squeezy tubes and I use them every day. I have one in like every purse. I have to go get more of them, but they're wonderful. They are not sticky. They give me a nice shine. I have one on right now and it just is a nice gloss moisturizer lipstick all in one and I have the colors 164 nude illusion and then I also have 155 sassy moth I have those in the lipstick form too and then for face products this is my favorite of the month well I just said that okay this is my second favorite of the month it's the cover FX foundation powder I went to Sephora and picked this up just because I was I did not want to put a foundation on every day since it's getting hotter outside and I'm in the color G70. Oh my god guys, this is the bomb. Y'all gotta get this stuff. Um, it's what I have on right now. I don't have any foundation on, I just have on the powder and as you can see it conceals everything while also giving me a nice, you know, matte finish. But if I do wear a foundation, my 
favorite of the month would be the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Outlast. I know you guys have seen this a bunch of times. Um, I'm in the color Classic Tan. 860 and this is a wonderful foundation if you want a matte effect and also SPF primer concealer all in one yes um, for priming my face I love this stuff I ain't gonna lie I am NOT buying the big bottle for 20 something dollars that ain't happening but this little sample size can get it okay this was like six dollars or something it's the L'Oreal Miracle Blur and I used it as a primer and oh my god Oh my god, oh my god, it just like conceals, well not conceals, it like mattifies my face and fills in my pores so that I, my foundation and powder can eat on, ease on, <laughs> so that my <laughs> foundation and powder can ease on smoother. <laughs> Whew, there we go, so yeah, y'all get on this. I wouldn't recommend buying the big bottle unless you are rich or something, but yeah. Here it is, L'Oreal Mocha Blur. Then for my eyeliner, I have really been loving... <laughs> Can you stop coming in here? Anyways, for my uh, mascara, I've really been loving the L'Oreal Voluminous Fiber Lashes, Black Liqueur or something, because I've been trying to get away from my Rimmel Scandalize, and this gets the job done really nicely. It separates, it lengthens, it you know, volumizes. It's hey, whatever. And then for eyeshadow, I've been sticking to my uh, Urban Decay uh, Urban Decay Baked. It just looks like this. I don't really want a bunch of eyeshadow on, so that's all I put on for my eyeshadow. So yeah, that's it for my March favorites, and I hope that was helpful for you guys, and I hope you love it. Bye! Subscribe!